And when it comes to writing with your brother, who you've worked with for a long time now, do you have quite clearly defined roles at this point in the writing Up process? Up to a point, they sort of changed on this record a bit. I've always sort of said, and I really do believe it, it's a bit weird with me and my brother. It's like there's one brain between the two of us. <laughs> like, the things that I'm good at, they're not his strong point. And the things he's really good at aren't necessarily my strong point either. But actually more and more, we're doing more of what the other one does. On this record, I did a lot more production than normally did, partly because of circumstance, but partly because, you know, we were apart, like he lives out of London now and, you know, and I'm in London. So a lot of it was done with me sending him ideas and sort of saying, look, this might be absolutely rubbish or not. But then him actually saying, no, this is, you know, I really like these beats and actually getting to the point where he was sending me stuff back to do the beats on, which wasn't usually the way we did it. So it's always changing, but between us, we're a complete person. (laughs) (laughs) Apart, like, you know, there's big gaps. He might not think the same thing. He might think he's a complete person, but it's so much easier with him in the room. Like I can really get things done with him in the room. And, And he's very, he's a... He has these beautiful ideas that I would never come up with because they're a bit random and don't necessarily follow any rules, you know, but they're really beautiful and instinctive. He's a very poetic person and and White Flag is a classic example of the two of us. So I was walking around with this bit of paper of his that had the, I will go down with the ship, those three lines. And I just loved them. It was almost like I couldn't sort of do justice with the verses but then the verses are sort of pure me it's less poetic and more factual and sort of little images and stuff whereas he's like the big grand poetry and you know thank you's a real me song it's all cups of tea and you know (laughs) windows and buses and this that and the other and and then he's got a great sort of poetic brain a great writer and um He's an amazing person to be around, you know, he's one of the, I remember seeing him walking down the street one day when he wouldn't have known that I was watching and he was just smiling, you know, he's one of those people who's just always smiling, he's just ridiculously opinionated, but in a really <laughs> lovely way, do you know what I mean? And, and really a brilliant person to work with and he's one of those people that I think for an artist you're always looking for a producer or a collaborator or you know, it works both ways, but they can bring out the best in you and vice versa. You know, that's why I like writing with people is that you learn something every mm-hmm. time. You know, there's never been a session that I've done with anybody where you haven't learned something, you know, whether it's, you know, a great thing or not great thing, you're going to learn something about songwriting and or singing or, or playing or whatever. So, and he's a great sort of facilitator and confidence whatever the word is, there you go. (laughs) And um, he sort of brings out my instincts. It's just easy making music with him. Having said that, he's also the harshest critic. So he is also the person I'm most nervous to play a first song idea Mm. to like, and he can't hide it on his face. Like, like (laughs) (laughs) he has what I sort of call scrunchy face, you know, and I can just see he's not enjoying it. And I'm just sitting there with the guitar sort of going, you know, how about this? And oh, I hate that feeling. It's gone.